Hi, today we will talk about op amp in a non inverting configuration and we will derive the relationship between the output voltage and the input voltage. Now, for an op amp in non inverting configuration, remember that the feedback resistor is connected to the non-inverting input as against for an op amp in an inverting configuration where the feedback resistor is connected to the inverting input. Whether it is non-inverting or inverting, the input is always at the inverting input. Now before we compute the output and input voltage relationship we need to take care of or rather understand two basic concepts the first one is that the input that is fed at inverting or at non-inverting is a differential input vd which is nothing but the difference of voltage fed at inverting and the voltage fed at non-inverting. Given that an ideal op amp has infinite amplification, the value of VD is close to zero. Therefore, for all practical purposes, we can assume that the voltage fed at inverting and the voltage fed at non-inverting are practically the same. The second concept is that the input impedance between the inverting and the non-inverting input is in, a, in an ideal op amp infinite. Therefore, any current that is flowing into the input is roughly zero. So, two concepts. Number one, the difference of voltage between the inverting and non-inverting is close to zero. Therefore, for all practical purposes, we can assume that the voltage at inverting input is practically the same for voltage at non-inverting input. The second concept is that since the input impedance is infinite, no current flows into the inverting or the non-inverting input. Now, with those two concepts in mind, let's try and compute the voltage at this end. The reason we are trying to compute the voltage at this end is that the first concept says that for all practical purposes, the voltage at inverting or at non-inverting input can be practically considered to be the same. We know that the voltage at inverting input is V in. Therefore, this voltage must be the same as the voltage at the non-inverting input. Now, let's first compute the voltage at this end. The voltage at that end is V which is equal to R divided by R plus RF into V output. If you consider the current flowing through this and second concept says no current flows through this because of infinite input impedance. Therefore, this is nothing but a simple voltage divider. So V which is the voltage at this end can be written as this divided by this plus this multiplied by this voltage. A simple resistor network. Now we know from the first concept that the voltage at inverting end and at the non-inverting end could be practically the same. Therefore, this V can be written as V in. 
So now, if we rearrange, we get V output by V is equal to R plus RF by R or this V being practically the same as V input can be written as V output by V input is equal to R plus RF by R which is nothing but equal to 1 plus RF by R. So that is the relationship between V output and V input. Notice carefully that there is no reversal therefore if the input voltage is like this the output waveform is also like this and if RF by R is much much greater than 1 then this is roughly equal to RF by R. That's what the relationship is between output voltage and input voltage of an non-inverting amplifier.